You want to stop people pleasing and here's why. People pleasing is deadly to your business. It's absolutely deadly. There's no way in hell that you're going to be able to name your prices, handle objections, deal with um, all the different interesting client personalities, negotiate, sell, market, if you are a people pleaser. And this is one reason that women struggle like hell in business. The most brilliant women, the most accomplished women often find themselves struggling to close high ticket deals consistently because of people pleasing patterns and habits. So this woman who on the surface, it just seems like, oh, I'm too nice. She's like, yeah, sure. No problem. What is going on below the surface? This is the work that I do with my clients day in and day out because so many people are throwing this woman band-aid bullshit, like shit that just is not addressing the root of what her actual challenge is. People pleasing is a trauma symptom, otherwise known as fawning. And why do we do this? Because we have learned that that is the way that we diffuse a threat, okay? And so this is an adaptive mechanism for women and it comes into our businesses and it negatively affects us unless it's healed, right? And so below the surface, what's there? A desire to diffuse a threat, a fear of conflict, a fear of being disliked actually a fear of discomfort or making other people feel uncomfortable right and what it translates to is a poor is poor leadership or lack of leadership right lack of boundaries enabling your clients poor behavior and that goes for the sales call as well right you watering down your truth when you are marketing putting yourself out there for fear of being disliked over giving not setting those boundaries of like no this is my scope anxiety codependence these are all so-called like personal problems that it it weaves between personal problems and business problems that it's very, very important that people, especially women in business, receive help and training around people pleasing and learning how to be more assertive and clear and self-loving and loving yourself. And I'm talking, if I'm talking to you, baby, loving yourself through the discomfort of speaking your truth, of giving tough love, of naming the elephant in the room, because ultimately people pleasing is deadly to your business and it is a crucial business problem to solve. Um, and it needs to be understood as a trauma symptom, um, that can absolutely be healed and must absolutely be healed for you to be the confident business leader that you can absolutely be. I love you. You got this.